Hello out there YouTube. This is the Sports Wolf coming at you with a real cool little item that I uh, thought I'd share with you. This happens to be the uh, G1 um, gold reissue knockoff. It's the uh, gold chrome repaint. Uh, it's clearly a knockoff which is fine with me because it still looks just like uh, Optimus. But uh, anyway I just want to do a quick look at it and I think um, depending if, if I feel like doing it I might do another uh, detailed comparison review some someday down the road but I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at this thing um, don't see too many videos on on YouTube so I thought I'd make one first thing I want to do is I want to take a look at this guy and all his gold chrome uh, let's grab Real quick, let's grab the real deal. This is the real one. Now you can see the, the differences in the chrome. Get the silver here and the chrome over here. Um, and even the, the front grill, gold. Uh, the smokestacks are gold, gas tanks gold. The wheels are gold. And um, even on the trailer here, the, uh, the chrome on here is gold. Yeah, this is a, um, this whole unit is almost identical. It's just not as well made as the G1. And then it even came with um, this gold gun. It's solid metal too. And this is pretty cool though. I like this. Um, some of the research I did online, um, this shows this particular um repaint or this knockoff with uh, a regular black gun and then some show with this gun here and then some show with this gun here with you know um in plastic well this is the metal gold so i don't know if it makes it more rare or not but it's still it's really heavy um and then also i've seen them on there where i'm going to transform this one i've seen them on there where um it comes with the uh, matrix of leadership Optimus does the other thing you want to notice is like this whole the whole arm thing is really loose the stickers are very thick they're thicker than the, the G1 stickers or even um, the, the 25th anniversary reissue these are thicker but this, this piece is still really really nice um, the head is very loose like up in here, I'm going to figure out what I can do to mess with that a little bit to get that right. But um, anyway, yeah, if you look in here, this is where uh, I see the matrix leadership. And, and then uh, you have your rub sign here, which <laughs> is a rub sign, but it, it, you can rub it all you want. And you can clearly tell that it's just, and you can look at it right too, it's just not... It's not even real. It's just a fake rub sign. Um, this particular set I got came with stickers, and I didn't apply them. Um, see, I didn't put them on. I don't think I'm gonna gonna put them on. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I will. I don't know. And then, of course, here's the ones for the trailer. I don't know. I'm debating on whether I want to or not. Maybe you guys can help me out if you watch this. Let me know if I should uh, put them stickers on this guy or not. Um, when it came, it came with the ones on the side here, though. So I had no choice about that. And we're going to get to the trailer here in a second. And then um, I'm definitely not going to be doing anything with these here. Um, take a look at the booklets. Here's the booklet for this knockoff. Here's the booklet for the G1. First thing you're going to want to look at is the inside back page. You look at the inside back page here it's got this so there there's two different I mean, weird huh so yeah um, this this whole pamphlet here is is a lot different than the G1 pamphlet see there it is right there 
Hopefully I'm not going too fast. And we'll flip it over. That's about the only thing that's the same. So, there's that. Of course, you've all seen a G1. Here's the, uh, the hose, the nozzle. And then here's the G1. Here's the... Looks almost the same, except this one's got some grooves in it. The G1 doesn't. Um, the hose is... You can't probably see it in the video, but the hose is just a touch thicker and stiffer. And if you go to the end here, um, this the knockoff is just a hair more round. It's like just a touch bigger. And the very tip here is a little bit bloated, where this one isn't. I don't know if you can see that or not. But um, So yeah, they, they try real hard, so it's still a cool piece to add to your collection. Uh, that's about it. And these move back and forth right here. Like they, they shouldn't really do so that. Let's go ahead and we'll open this guy up. And if, if you're watching, if you watch a video of this guy, the uh, trailer is near so hard to open. I, mean, I don't know what else you can do about that. But there's Roller. Comes with the Autobot symbol and then the front lights there. Um, roller um, is, is kind of normal. If you look at, I okay, got a purple one here. This one happens to be this gray one. Um, they look, I've eyeballed them pretty close. They look pretty much identical. Um, it's really not much that I can say that there's a difference. In, so, um, same with the internal stuff here. Everything's pretty much right on par. I mean, everything. So, um, even the, even the, the color of the trailer itself is pretty much dead nuts. So, uh, the only thing is this the clip on up here. It's just it's hard to get apart. But the, the quality, everything feels the same as the G1. Um I want to take a look at this box and show show you guys this box. See, and the G1. I see, of course, I don't have a G1 box. Yeah, I'll get one someday. But if you just you know, look right on uh, um, auction sites and stuff and look at pictures, or if you have one, you can compare right now. You see the outlining here and the styrofoam inserts a little different. I'm not going to get into that. But they tried. They got Hasbro down here. Here at the top. I mean, it's a really good, really good try. I don't know if you can see that or not. But, anyway. There's the back. And if you can read that, it reads... The very bottom, 1984 Hasbro Bradley Incorporated, Pawtucket, Rhode Island, USA. All rights reserved. Made and printed in Japan. Manufactured by Takara. Blah blah blah. And and there's the uh, picture of the back. And it has the uh, proof of purchase there even. Wow. So and here's the bottom. So, yeah, really, really good job at trying to, uh, I don't know, I don't want to say knock off, but, um, well, there you got it, there you have it, folks, this is the um, knockoff gold G1 Prime, and uh, any questions, just post a comment or something, or shoot me an email, or whatever. And uh, I might be, I might, I might think I'm going to do another review on this guy in more detail, just on the, the figure itself. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Take care.